Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to this Dragon Age. Yeah. Um let's give Win the amulet, where is it? Because oh, okay, maybe not. I keep forgetting that she's actually got better stuff. I guess for now we shall just give out gifts to people that are not that high with us. Zevran, my man. I know you want the boots or gloves. They're made out of leather. Gloves? You go. You're giving me gloves? What for? I thought you might like them. I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just... Wait. These are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. It was nothing. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. No problem. Plus nine. We're friendly. We're a door. We're warm, apparently. We're warm as well. Um. How nice. Okay. You can actually give them How to these because nice. no one else needs How them. How nice. I think that's it for now. Major dexterity. Something on your mind? Uh, no, obviously you don't have anything new to say. Zevran, let's see what you have to say to me. What say you? Care to answer some questions? By all means. What is your opinion of the Dalish? I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. Ah! All this tale in the book. Severin, that's horrible. Is it? It seemed normal enough a tale growing up. No different than the other elven boys in the whorehouse. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally That's by the horse. morbid way of looking at it. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. And yet you're oddly cheerful about it all. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. You can say that again. My original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. I just gave they you a pair of gloves. Dalish make. I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. But how do you feel about the Dalish in general? I don't feel anything about them. Oh, we heard about them in the city, even deep in Antiva. I even had the notion once to run off and join them. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Okay. Um, let's talk to him a bit more. What say you? More questions? By all means. So tell me more about your adventures. Well... The only one that's really worth telling is the story of the mission right before I came to Ferelden. But, no, I... I would rather not. I, I shouldn't have said anything. 
It's all right. I understand. Thank you. Perhaps another day, huh? All right. Let's see what Liliana wants. Or she has anything I to say. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I, I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me, and told me that we shouldn't fear death. Or my guy is standing at rapt death attention. Is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. We believe that we return to the stone and become ancestors. And thus you embark upon another journey. Death is just the gateway. Let's listen to this epic song. <laughs> I'll try not to talk much. I like that song. You know, even if it doesn't sound like anything like her, but that's to be expected because she probably can't sing. Yeah, I like that song. I actually, I think I installed a mod that made it so then it looked a bit better, so then her mouth actually looked like she was saying stuff, because saying the words. Because originally, I think it's like she just goes bang, 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 bang. She just opens and closes her mouth, which doesn't look good at all. Emissary Caron? You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. Do you need anything? We have assembled on a short schedule. Certain factors of equipment could be better. Crafting components would serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. Oh, it's a good thing I have millions of those. A communal box for the resources you've collected for your troops. It will turn in crafting materials for the Dalish. Give all elf roots. Give more. Give all elf roots. Again. Turning crafting materials. Give all deep mushrooms. Give all death roots. Give all metal shards. Turn runes. Give all assigned master runes. There we go. All done. Generous as always, Warden. That's the reason why I've been collecting everything. Alright, in the next episode we'll be talking to everyone else in the camp, see what's going on, and then do whatever.